Hi everyone, Mike here from DogFoodInsider.com and today we will be making a video review on 4 Health Chicken and Rice. Okay, so we gave it our 4 paw rating, which is above average. And for this video review, we'll just go over the top 5 ingredients. If you come to our website, DogFoodInsider.com, we give you a, a breakdown of pretty much all of the ingredients. So uh, the first two ingredients in this food is chicken and chicken meal. Those are two excellent named meat sources as the first two ingredients, so we like to see that. Now a real quick note about chicken. Uh, this is a whole meat product, whole chicken, and generally uh, about 80% of that is moisture, which is cooked off during the uh, cooking process. So chicken after cooking is probably not going to be the top ingredient. They, they put it as number one because uh, the, the ingredients are weighed prior to the cooking process, but in all likelihood chicken meal is going to be the top ingredient, uh, which is okay because chicken meal is um, basically a condensed form of chicken where the moisture has already been removed. So uh, it's very high in protein, it's a high quality ingredient. With meat meals, uh, what you want to look out for are unnamed meals. So if, if this just said meat meal as the second ingredient, not so great because you don't know where that meat is coming from. In this case, they actually named chicken, so we know this is going to be a, a decent ingredient here. Uh, the next ingredient is uh, cracked pearled barley, and uh, this, this ingredient, it's not uh, the best ingredient that we can have. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. It does, uh, it is a pretty good dietary fiber, uh, but other than that, there's nothing uh, really spectacular about this ingredient or anything bad about it. It's, it's uh, pretty much right in the middle. Uh, millet is the next ingredient, and this is a good source of omega-6 fatty acid, and uh, sometimes it's high in fiber as well. Sometimes dogs can have a tough time digesting millet because of the uh, high fiber content. But in most cases, most dogs don't have any problems with that. The biggest problem that we have in the top five ingredients is actually the last ingredient here, brewer's rice. And uh, now don't get this confused with brewer's yeast, because brewer's yeast is actually, it does supply uh, nutritional value to dogs. Brewer's rice, on the other hand, does not have any nutritional value, and um, it's actually an ingredient that is only sold in the pet food industry. And so basically it's the dried extract residue of rice uh, from the manufacturing of wort, uh, which is basically the liquid portion of malted grain, and it may contain pulverized and spent hops. So brewer's rice is used a lot in the production of um, alcohol uh, and things like that, so you're basically getting the leftovers. It's a, it's a byproduct, and it's, it's mostly just used as a filler. So there is no nutritional value in rice. This is the main reason why we dropped the rating from a five paw, which is the highest rating that we can give a dog food, uh, to a four paw, the brewer's rice, and also some of these other ingredients aren't exactly um, the highest quality ingredients. Nothing really wrong with them, but for a five paw food, it really needs to be exceptional. So that is a breakdown of the top five ingredients in four health chicken and rice. If you'd like, come on and visit us at dogfoodinsider.com. You can check out our main review of four health dog food, where we go over any recall histories anything you need to know about. Uh, and we also review, you can see several of their dry food products. We're, we're still working on the rest, but we'll get there eventually. So I hope you found this helpful and uh, feel free to comment below or come to our website, dogfoodinsider.com, and you can comment on that page as well. And let us know if you agree or disagree what you think of this food. All right, we'll see you next time.